Here are five inexpensive mom hacks that you need to try. Pick up a big cereal container with a flip top lid, put a plastic bag inside, and you have a portable trash can for your car. Grab a cupcake liner, cut a slit in the bottom, and slip it over the bottom of a popsicle. This is gonna catch any drips. Grab a caddy like this from Dollar Tree, fill it up with your kids' favorite snacks and put it in the back seat. It has a place to keep everything so it doesn't get all over your car and it's really easy for kids to grab a snack. Create busy bags for a road trip. Grab these inexpensive pencil pouches and fill them up with different activities. You can curate this for whatever age your kids are. Pop each pencil pouch into a Dollar Tree binder and you can take this wherever you go. Do you have card games laying around? gather up the cards and stick them in a travel soap container. This is gonna store each game nice and neatly and you can take it on the go or put it in your game closet. Grab a towel bar and a hanging shoe rack from Dollar Tree. Put it on the seat in your car for easy access to road trip essentials. Pour some rubbing alcohol into a baggie that seals and place in your freezer. Alcohol freezes at a much colder temperature than water and this allows your ice pack to get cold but remain flexible. When ready to use, pull it out Put the baggie on a cloth to protect the skin and place on the injury. When you're finished, put it back in the freezer to be used again. Clean and disinfect phones and tablets. Put a little rubbing alcohol onto a microfiber cloth and rub onto the glass of your phone or tablet to clean and disinfect it. Place rubbing alcohol into a spray bottle. Spray it inside shoes to fight off odors and disinfect them. Make sure your computer is off. Dip a Q-tip in rubbing alcohol and rub onto your keys to clean them. Grass, mud, and dirt stains. Place some Dawn dish soap on those tough stains. Spread around to coat the whole stain and let it sit for 10 minutes or more. Lightly scrub the stain to get the Dawn into the fabric. Launder and your stains will be gone. Place some regular toothpaste on a microfiber cloth and buff the crayon away from doors, tables, and walls. Wipe off the toothpaste with a damp cloth. To fold the t-shirt, start by laying it on a flat surface with the front side facing down. Fold in each side of the shirt and then fold the arms back. Once you have a rectangle created, you are gonna fold this shirt in half, leaving a couple inches on the bottom. Then you're gonna fold it in half again. And now you have a nice file here that's gonna stand up in your drawer. Fold up the bottom of a shirt about a third of the way, then turn the whole thing over. Fold each side of the shirt in, then fold the top down and fold the whole thing in half. Now you're able to turn this little pouch all the way around and tuck the shirt inside of it. Lining your shirts up like this allows you to see everything that you have. It's nice and neat and it's easy to pull out what you need. Let's fold a hoodie. Fold the bottom up about a third of the way and then fold it up again. Take the two sleeves and fold them in and then fold in the sides. Take this whole piece and tuck it into the hood. Pull those strings tight and everything stays contained. This is a nice way to fold a bulky item. It's gonna stay nice and secure in your drawer. This is also great for packing. Let's fold a collared shirt. Make sure all the buttons are fully buttoned. Then flip the shirt over. Fold in the sides and fold the arms back. You wanna create a long rectangle. Now fold up the bottom about a third of the way and fold the top down about a third of the way. It's a great option for storing shirts if you do not have a hanging space. To fold a pair of pants, lay them face up and fold one leg on top of the other, creating one long rectangle. Fold the whole thing in half and then fold it in thirds. Using this method is going to allow your pants to stand up on their own. Take your magic eraser and rub it on your white shoe soles. You can just damp it up, rub it on it, and it takes everything right off those white shoe soles and makes them just like new all over again. Start with one produce bag and roll it in on itself. Continue to do the same with the three other produce bags. Secure the outer net to one of the metal clasps on the end of the netting. Now you have a DIY scrub daddy for tough dishes. What do you do when you need a tiny bag? Well, you take a little cloth napkin and iron, put that on top of your bigger Ziploc bag, and that's going to seal it at the bottom. Then you can put your little carrots inside and then you're going to just grab some scissors and then trim off the end and you have a perfect little snack bag. So the first thing we're going to do is place it upside down. I've got these cushions that tie and you simply set them on top. Another option is to actually put your crate right side up and then place your board on top. So a number of ways that you can mix and match this. You can make things like this that store well. Let's start with that mess of plastic bags. Lay it out flat, fold it in half, then in half again. Fold it up into triangles. 
I'm gonna take the handles and tuck them into the little pocket of the triangle. Now that same amount of bags fits in that container. To fold a larger reusable bag, lay it out flat, and fold it into thirds. Fold the bottom up, tuck the handles in. Now you're able to store these bags vertically. Lay out your kitchen towel, fold it in half and half again. Fold it into thirds, right into the pocket you created. It's not going to become unfolded. Fold a bag of chips, bringing each corner together on a diagonal. Flip the bag around and fold it down three or four times. Fold over the corners. It's not gonna leak. Start by tucking in the two side pieces. Squeeze the sides together and tuck that final piece, making it line up really nicely in your pantry. So you're gonna grab a little Tupperware, put the lid on, you're gonna shake it up and shake it up just enough that it's hitting the sides. Look, it totally slid off because it's been loosened by going back and forth against the sides of your Tupperware. Take one to two old washcloths, lay them flat, trace the border of the circles four times, cut out each shape individually, take a microfiber towel and do the same thing. Take two of the washcloth circles and put them right side in and secure right side in to each other. Leave an opening that is about three fingers wide. Flip the right side out and then add fabric cut for the interior into this dish pad. Hand sew the rest of the pad closed. There you have it, a cheap way to create your own DIY dish cleaning items using upcycled materials. You have a knife and it's dull and you don't have a sharpening stone. What do you do? You can grab a ceramic cup, flip it over, and you can sharpen it right there and you have a totally totally sharp knife you're gonna grab some ceram wrap and roll it out on your table and then grab four skewers and then you're gonna grab two eggs and butt them up against each other and start rolling the eggs towards the skewers and the goal is to get the skewers to be evenly spaced all the way around and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab something to tie it off pull those tight so then you're gonna put this in the fridge for about 15 minutes and then you're gonna take off your little binding that you have around it and unroll the surround wrap. And we're gonna cut these into, what do you think? Little flowers, how cute is that? And they would be so cute on a charcuterie board or even to put in a lunch for your kids. Stop your tablecloths from blowing away. Grab some clothespins and clip the clothespins onto the tablecloth to hold the tablecloth into place. Grab some shower caps and you can use these to cover the top of your food. Grab a cake carrier, open it up, and place your plates and your silverware, napkins, and more into your cake holder. This will now help you transport any of your paper products. Grab a foil pan from the store. You'll also need some charcoal and you'll need a cookie rack. Place the charcoal into the foil pan and then place the cookie rack on top and you've made a portable grill.